everybody, Laura Odegaard here for richgirlnetwork.tv. Tonight, we're on the red carpet for the People You May Know premiere, and we're going to be talking to the cast and the producers, directors, so stay tuned, because you're seeing it all right here on richgirlnetwork.tv. here on the carpet with Jillian Alexi. And Jillian, who do you play in the movie? Uh, I play Abigail. I play Frankie's best friend, who is played by Kaylee. Um, and she's like the fun-loving, fabulous, super cool friend that everyone wants to be, whose life looks amazing from the outside. Uh, but is that really her reality? Oh. And did making this movie change the way that you use social media? Uh, it, I don't know that it changed the way I use it, but it definitely the reason I took the film was because I'm very fascinated by the subject and I'm really interested in the the kind of effect it has. Social media has on our psychology and and just the role it plays in our lives and 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 how challenging it is to be your authentic self on social media. Totally. Is there anything that you learned about yourself in making this movie and how social media affects you? Oh, good question. Um, that I learned about myself. I mean, look, again, it just, it really makes me question every time I post something, what is its relevance to the world and what am I trying to say and is this, is this something truthful or am I putting on a mask, you know, is, why do we always only, why do we always only put out the, the pretty stuff and the glossy stuff and the perfect stuff, you know, how, why is it so hard for us to be honest about the hard stuff as well? Because quite frankly, when I scroll social media, that's what I want to see, that's what I want to hear about. I want to hear about the real stuff, not the like fabulous holidays and fancy dinner plates. No glamorous red carpets. Right? Well, I mean, it's kind of smoke and mirrors, right? This is amazing and we're so lucky as as filmmakers and, and people in this industry to get to have this night. But it's so it's one night amongst such hard work. I mean Sherwin might tell you about it. I did a 17 hour day one day on set and I think I was in like one shot and so there are sides to this industry that are not this. This is the smoke and mirrors and it's fine and it's great and we're so appreciative of it but it's important, it's, it's again, people don't see that side of it. So Totally. Well, you look absolutely beautiful tonight and where can people find you on social media? Uh, at Jillian Alexi, pretty much across all the platforms, just my name, so. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for talking to us tonight. Have a wonderful night. You too. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. We are here with Sarah Hay. How are you doing tonight, Sarah? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. And you're here to support a friend, I hear? Yes, Justin Klosky. My first time seeing him act, so I'm really excited. That's exciting. So this movie is largely based on social media. And I have to ask, what's your favorite social media platform? Definitely Instagram. It's just like the most visually exciting, you know, you just start scrolling forever. Totally. I can definitely get lost in that loop. And what are you looking forward to tonight? Um, I'm really interested to see him act as well as really interested to see the kind of controversy or controversial, you know, point of view of the film. I just want to see where they're going to go with it as far as social media. So that's really exciting because it's definitely like a weird topic. It's a good and a bad thing. So we'll see. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for stopping to chat with us, Sarah. Thank you. Thanks. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. All right. I am here with Justin Klosky and his girlfriend, sorry, Andrea. And Justin, can you tell me about your character in the movie? Yeah. Um, I play Dave, Nick Rutherford's husband. Uh, he sweeps me off my feet with some George Clooney impressions, and uh, I fall in love with him, and we have a wedding. That's beautiful. And how does your character use social media in the movie? 
You know, we explore it together by using apps to try to plan our wedding, uh, connecting with different people, um, being able to showcase the, uh, the invitations and um, all of the, the things that are going to go out to guests. And that's, that's shown in the film, which I think is important because that's how it's done these days. So, Absolutely. And I see you're here with your beautiful girlfriend. Did you guys meet on social media? We did not. That is... I mean, most of the people I, I know have met that way. But no, we didn't. We actually met in, in person. person. That is lovely. You guys did it the old-fashioned way. I respect that. And are you guys on social media? Where can people find you? We are. Um, mine, I believe, is... Andrea what is it? underscore LeBlanc underscore. I don't go on it that Mine's often. easy. Justin Klosky. No, Justin B. Klosky. That's beautiful. I love that he knew your Instagram before you did. That is true love right there, if I've ever seen it. That's the best. I didn't even know my own social media. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for stopping to chat with us. Thank awesome. You. Thanks a lot. Have a great night.